Make sure you always drink water. Three liters a day. Three liters a day. Nah, singing is crazy. Shouldn't have done that. Anyway. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. In today's episode, I'm gonna be taking you through 10 brands that I would purchase from if I had money. Um, I mean, I would purchase from when I have money. Gotta change the mindset, gotta change the mindset. Some of the brands that I'm gonna go through today, you haven't heard of, and the others that you have heard of, you wanna shop from them in the future. But this is just something I guess to give to you guys maybe to put you onto some brands put them on a list like I have a list of brands that I want to shop from in the future or I will shop from in the future just based on the quality the aesthetic and the style of the clothing as well so that's the main thing that they're on that's the main reason why they're on my list that's the, the anyway so let's get into it then. all right so brand number one guys and I'm going to be taking you through the Danish brand MF Pen started by Sigurd Bank back in 2015 and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of MF Pen and just I think they're pretty infamous and just gaining a good track record for what they do and I'm going to show you on my screen a few of the pieces and take you through like what I kind of like and why they're on my list of brands to purchase from so let's get into it first of all glasses on for me what do you think yeah, no. Maybe I look better with them off. But they're staying on anyway. But let me stop talking shit and let's get into it. So, it's a typical Scandinavian brand in terms of the pieces that they have here. You know, you've got the shirts, the denim wear, the suiting, trousers, tailoring, suits as well, suit jackets, sorry, um, the knitwear. Anyway, like look at this shirt here i think it's the the, the one thing that makes mfn stand out is the fact that they use dead stock fabric so once the item is gone it's pretty much gone and it's not coming back like this shirt is sick even the way the trousers the relaxed straight leg and the way they sit on those boots i think it's beautiful man and another piece that i saw as well which i really liked which i didn't really like but i thought it was interesting was this black lace vest. I mean, the price though, 200 euro, it's a no from me, it's a no from me. But the way they've styled it with this shirt, with the trousers, probably get the trousers cut a little bit more, but we're not here to critique their styling. But the way they sit on the trainers is, is pretty sick as well. It's just, it's pretty nice. Like that's my aesthetic, you know, if you like it, you like it. And even just the leg wear as well, so we've got these trousers these suit trousers the tailoring i think it's beautiful i think this is one of my favorite just outfits and the, the trousers the way they sit because you've got these which are quite wide leg and this one is more of a straight leg fit here with these big jeans just the whole outfit you can recreate this outfit by yourself i don't know dye a white vest get a check shirt if you like it and yeah i would even like screenshot this and use it as some style inspiration because yeah man i'm messing with this outfit but yeah mf pen i think i've just taken you through a few of the pieces but but like check them out yourselves and, and see what you like and i'm going to link all of the 10 brands that i'm going to go through today so that you can add them to your list and have a look at them and make some purchases from them brand number two and we're taking it to Seoul, South Korea. And we're going with Well Done. So Well Done is, as I mentioned, a South Korean brand started by Dami Kwon and Jessica Jung, I think. And these guys also started Rare Market. I don't know if you guys have heard of Rare Market, but I did a little bit of research on them. So basically it was a boutique store for emerging international designers and that's where well done has emerged from so these guys just in terms of the aesthetic itself it's a lot of athleisure and sportswear inspired pieces but they take more of a futuristic approach to the garments and the silhouettes as well 
And this one just reminds me a bit of Ada Era, and I'm sure everyone's heard of Ada Era, but I think I prefer these because a lot of the pieces are very minimalistic, but there are some pieces which are a bit out there. So one of my favorites was these black metal loafers. I think these are incredible. Like that sale is insane. And I'm on Essence at the moment. And yeah, I would probably use, for well done, I'd probably say go on their stockists, like Essence, Farfetch, wherever they might be stocked rather than the official website. And I am a sucker for black pair of trousers. I know they are 265 and the RRP is 490, but I just think they, they're sick and they sit very well. And it's something I would like to have in my wardrobe for a very long time. I'm not just purchasing it and then just gonna purchase another one. This purple cable knit cardigan is also incredible. Like, again, when you do, if you do check them out, there are gonna be a few crazy pieces which might seem a little bit outlandish, but I think the main thing is just pick and choose what you like and then just add those to your wardrobe. So yeah, another brand and make another strong one. Brand number three guys, and we are sticking to South Korea with the brand called Markaware. I'm not sure if it's, that's how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. And in order to find this brand itself, you have to go to parkingmag.japan.jp, sorry. But I'm gonna link it all in the description below. And I think Parking Mag is just a place where curious men apparently can find out more about contemporary clothing. So that's where Mark West sits. And I'm just gonna take you through a few of the, the pieces that I like in particular. Let's jump into it. Like, look at this organic wool survival cloth. Suck coat, interesting name. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like this is a sick, sick piece. Like just a, a sick suit. Like I wouldn't, I don't think I would wear suits that often on road, but if I needed a suit for a special occasion, then I'm definitely buying one of these. Like, it's insane. And then these are the trousers that are paired with it. Oh, I mean, this is essential. Look, the elastic, the elasticated waist. For those that, that have a bit of a bloat, I get that. So again, as I said, work workwear inspired, very slouchy, very relaxed fit. And I think this is a beautiful color in itself, this wool survival cloth work jacket. So yeah, they're very basic, like wardrobe essentials, I would say that they have and this coat is bloody crazy man like it's such a beautiful coat even in the black and the beige i mean i would probably get the beige myself but very simple there's nothing out of the ordinary for this brand like if you just need something for every day then i would just probably come here like nothing exciting but top quality which matters the most. But that's it. Brand number four, and we're sticking with Southeast Asia. Not necessarily in Southeast Asia, but definitely inspired by Japanese streetwear and just Japanese culture in general. It is the infamous Studio Nicholson, which was started by Nick Wakeman, and she started it in 2007. And I say infamous because I've seen a lot of people wearing Studio Nicholson recently and I think it's because of the, the superior fabrics that they use, the relaxed, oversized, there's a lot of oversized stuff here at Studio Nicholson. So if that's your kind of cup of tea, then I would definitely say come here. Another thing is it's just like functionality, modernity is what this brand exudes. So I'm just gonna take you through a few of my favorite pieces also the styling is banging by the way like this the lookbook is hard but this so you've got the jumper there the shirt the cardigan the jacket there then the trap 
the denim salvage mm, man man I love clothes so much period anyway let's move on this jacket you can definitely get something similar on Arkit or Cos, but I just wanted to show you just because I thought it was impeccable, like it's insane. And the way they styled it as well, I thought was beautiful. Like, look at that, crisp. Even this black sweatshirt, this is a black sweatshirt. You can get black sweatshirts literally anywhere. And I'm gonna say that the price isn't too bad for 135, it's not that bad. And I'm sure a lot of you are buying those cold boxed in hoodies as well. So 135 for this sweatshirt ain't that steep. And let's be honest, so many of you are buying those new balance 990s as well, which are like 180, 200. So 135 for sweatshirt is calm. But I also loved this knit, this dark navy knit, like black and navy. Oh. Guys, just look at how beautiful this, this is. Mm. and it's just the way it drops the neck like I wouldn't obviously zip it up all the way and I don't think you're supposed to but the way it just sits there and just the whole shape and silhouette of this piece and it just makes it quite interesting rather than like your normal knit or your normal zip top should I say like I'm wearing just a basic one right now and then last but not least another item that I wanted to pick out and show you guys was this unbelievable tote bag Mm. it doesn't look like much here and does look like much in the price but I just think this tote bag is is crazy like I think it's beautiful but yeah if you haven't heard of Studio Nicholson then definitely check them out or put them on your list like myself and purchase from them in the future because I'm I'm very confident you're gonna be happy with the quality of it brand number five and we are going back to scandinavia and this is the danish brand and collective called sunflower this brand here is very similar to you can see the similarity between them and mf pen and i'm obviously going to take you through some of the pieces and just show you in general why i think they're similar you know whilst we just have a quick scan over the clothes you can see it's danish it's a it's a danish inspired brand you know the elevated approach to the wardrobe timeless pieces very straightforward very easy ready to wear collection here that we have i love this wool knitted jumper in this beautiful like brown mocha color I think just the tones, like I want to add some more brown to my wardrobe and just for tonal outfits, this will work perfectly. So definitely on my wish list. And let's hope that this is actually the sweater. Like I don't really wear V-neck sweaters, but they have made this look hard with the styling and just the way it sits as well. Look, it's quite cinched in terms of the waist of it. If I can click on it, I can't actually, but I think it's just an amazing piece and the way it's got the, the shirt sticking out as well you know I love you know I love that style and then this cardigan this moon cardigan and this beautiful I don't even know what color this is like teal color and then they've also got this cardigan in this nice beige dark beige color and I think those two would just be nice additions in terms of just adding a bit more vibrant piece to your outfit if you're wearing like quite a monochrome black white outfit and then you just chuck on one of these cardigans i think it would be perfect but i didn't actually particularly like the coat that much the reason that made me click on it was the fact that the styling i thought was impeccable but the boots saint laurent-esque the trousers the straight leg trousers the cream like look at the way that it, the cream just complements the whole outfit when you've got the navy and the black it is bloody stupendous and sunflower clothing is some is just been a brand that i just kind of stumbled across so yeah check them out i'm gonna link them below 
the next brand and we are moving back to Southeast Asia with the fantastic Orly, which was started by Ryota Iwawe back in 2015. So it's a relatively new brand um, and they've, again, it is very similar to a lot of the other brands that I've shown you previously, but this is more of a ready to wear brand and has a glamorous nature to it and a chic understated quality is why I like them in particular and I'm just going to scroll through and obviously like I did previously just pick out a few pieces that I particularly liked but you can see why I like this brand it's just clean minimalistic again with the relaxed silhouettes but not so much like say your studio studio nicholson or the mark aware brand as well so one of the pieces that i liked in particular was this felted felted wool knit v-neck jumper i mean look at that and you can just feel how soft you could just you can't you can't feel it but you just know how soft this is going to be and they've got it in these three colors but i think the khaki would be my favorite for sure and then another knitwear I'm, I'm a very simple guy like a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna show you is just very simple very minimalistic but that's just how I like the dress I love the light beige and I absolutely love the turquoise but I don't know if I would wear the turquoise I think I would you know I think I would but this light beige is incredible and i think most of the pieces on this site are very unisex and one of my favorite pieces was this wool double cloth slacks like even the styling this blue gray blue shirt with the brown shirt on top and then the boots too much fire here this is very hard in all seriousness yeah this is beautiful and, and just look at look at how clean this is how just elegant this suit looks with the sandals as well it's crisp it's clean that's all you ever need and for this brand it ranges from about 150 to about 500 in terms of the conversions that i did on some of the pieces so that is orally the next brand and we are crossing the Atlantic Ocean is Untitled Collective New York and started around 2018 2019 I'm not too sure so there isn't loads in terms of the the pieces on the this brand in particular like if we go to this is all of their collection that they have at the moment on the website and yeah it's pretty limited but i just love the aesthetic of this brand let's see if we can jump into their instagram and i think it's just there are just some beautiful pieces here it's just like work aware classics sartorial craftsmanship comfort functionality from this brand and the way they shoot their products is pretty cool if I do say so myself. So that's why I like this brand and that's why I gravitated towards them and why I put them on my list. But like I said, these are the pieces that they have at the moment. But if I go into the fall winter 21, this is what they have in store for us coming up. And I would say I am pretty excited. Obviously I'm not gonna purchase, I can't cop, but the pieces here are sick like i love this leather jacket only thing is you can't really see too much of the items but i'll just take you through this fall winter 21 collection and just show you some of the pieces here like look at the way it's shot as well i think that is that's beautiful this fits like this is a work wears jacket and then the slacks which are oversized straight leg straight leg maybe even wide leg i go as far to say lovely trench coat there for the winter time and even just the bag 
like the way he's holding the bag it's just sick and the shoes very new york vibes about this and very clean and minimal as always and that's how i like my brands and that's how i'm going to keep them anyway let's move on to the next one okay for the next brand and we are going all the way to norway for livid jeans which was started in 2013 can't remember who the guy that's the, i think there were three guys that started the the brand um way earlier than 2013 they've been building their their craft and working on their craft for so long and he talks about an incredible story you can see the similarity sim damn the similarities between the livid jeans and brands like sunflower mf pen as well the scandinavian influences along with the japanese influences in terms of the trousers and the legwear that you see with the relaxed silhouettes and even the way they, they've styled a few of the, the items of the clothing remind me a lot of um japanese kind of culture there's a lot of shirts cardigans jeans flannels but you can be assured rest assured even that the quality here is going to be second to none so i'll take you through a few of my favorite pieces i know it's just a basic check shirt but i just think it's hard and the way they've started with those straight leg pants and then the loafers to finish it off just the whole aesthetic is very nice and that's just why i like to talk about styling is because this shirt on its own you wouldn't think too much of it but then with the whole outfit put together like damn that looks good and this is how i might put it together myself so moving on this cardigan beautiful and this orange color Ooh. that's all i need to say and then in this off-white color as well i had to show you this one in off-white as well don't know which one do you think is better the orange or the off-white ah, man they're both incredible but i do love livid clothing and it's been on my list for a lot longer than a lot of the other brands that i've shown you today so i will make a purchase sorry for the background noise next up we have olive clothing and i'm sure many of you have heard of olive clothing or have shopped there on many occasions and they have a lot of japanese influences relaxed silhouettes so some pieces that i like in particular like i just came on here and found this crazy cardigan like in this mint color i don't know about you guys but i love it like loose fit knitted cardigan yes it's definitely a summer cardigan and not something you're going to be wearing in the winter time but i would say maybe add that to your karma or even pop your email in so you can get notified man done it and even in this black color as well I, I love it too and yeah i mean these sunglasses are pretty sick like they are something similar you would find in kimi or this if it's kimi or chimi i don't know correct me if i'm wrong i think kimi is right but these are just 32 quid there is nothing crazy but i like them these trousers i don't know what's going on but I've literally been waiting for about six months for them to come back in stock. And I love them so much. I think they're sick. I tried them on in the black color. I wasn't a huge fan. Just the black wasn't really black enough for me. But I think the gray here would be perfect. The I got myself a 30 in the black one, by the way. And I just thought it was a bit too tight. Like it fits me perfectly, but I want a bit more room, you know? when I'm out eating and drinking. So I'll probably get a 32 in this one. So it was good for that, for that fact that I tried them on already. And then these, I mean, I've been watching these for a while, for a minute. I think they're sick. And I've seen, I think Daniel Simmons has, has styled these as well. And I'm glad that he did, because I had been watching them for some time. and 
now I know I definitely have to cop these for sure. I think it's just a beautiful silhouette, even just the cut, the way it will sit on your shoes like Converse's or boots would just go perfectly. But olive clothing, just some standard pieces here, very relaxed. It's just for the everyday wardrobe really, but an elevated, elevated streetwear is what I would say this is. Elevated streetwear. Okay, for the 10th and final brand on my list, I'm gonna keep this very short and sweet because I know everyone knows about this brand and it is Aim Leon Door. I think that's how you pronounce it, but obviously everyone knows about them. The New Balance collaboration was going crazy um, on social media and just in the sneaker world in general. Started by Teddy Santis back in 2014 and they've just grown and literally just shot up in terms of popularity for basically the elevated streetwear and contemporary luxury style that they exude there's there's a piece for everyone like i could cop a few things for my dad from here and that's just why i think they've grown in popularity it's just this mass appeal to everyone and i'm not going to go through any particular items that i like because we'd be here for days but the reason i wanted to include them was i just it's just the, the new york vibe the aesthetic like even the way the feed of the instagram is curated is unbelievable it, it seems like a heritage brand but it was established in 2014 i mean look at this look at the way they've just curated the feed and if i had a brand which hopefully I will one day have a brand then i want to curate it in this type of way so that it's so distinctive that when i post something or when i make a campaign you just know even if you remove all the branding you just know it's them because of this they have a certain style and aesthetic to their campaigns and to the way they capture their clothing and style their clothing but yeah I think the only one I wanted to show you was this ALD Porsche 911 SC mechanic jacket, which I think is sick, by the way. Maybe not so much the branding on the back, but just the color of this. Even the blue one as well, I think is sick too. And Teddy Santis is doing a lot. And he is definitely a big name now. But yeah, that's it pretty much for ALD. So guys, that is it for my 10 brands that are on my wish list and brands that I will be making purchases from in the future. <laughs> so hopefully I've been able to put you onto some new brands or maybe just give you a little bit of information on some of the brands that I've mentioned and you can do your own research as well. But main thing is, was just to provide a bit more information and I hope other people, in fact, do more of these types of videos and just put me onto other brands because I always want to learn. So if you know of any brands that you guys might be looking at, then comment in the comment section below. And as always, guys, please like, subscribe, share, comment. The love is always much appreciated. So thank you for sticking around for this episode and I will see you in the next one. Peace.